pressure on you, but uh, 148 is a very good score in the, in the semi-final, but also for the gold medal match. Uh, I think it would give him a very good shot. Yeah, it's, it sets the tone, doesn't it? it, it, it it's it's sort of putting a marker down and saying, oh, you, you, you're going to beat me. This is what we've got to do. So, that's nice impressive stuff from Arashat Verma. Got uh, the second at semi-final waiting in the wings. And now, please welcome the athletes to the field of play for semi-final matchup number two. Time now for the second semi final of the compound men's competition here at the third stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup in Medellin, Colombia. We're nestled in the mountains of the Andes and up in the lineup, the defending champion. Representing the United States of America. In the number one, representing the United States of America, Nick Gaffer. On target number two, representing the United States of America, in the number one, representing the United States of America, James Watts. Well, an all-American affair for this second semi-final for Sheffield. Jimmy Lutz is the uh, defending champion uh, out here to defend the title. He took his place uh, in the finals and wins this uh, uh, the final match. But he's up against Nick Catters, making his debut on a World Cup stage. But I don't get this, he's the Pan-American champion. Yeah, I think they do different uh, selection procedures for different tournaments. So um, uh, for the Pan American Championships, they obviously selected a different team than for the World Cup season. Um, that's just the way that USA Archery does it, I suppose. The Kappas will begin this Pan American affair. No, no, no. Still nine as his sighter and makes a little adjustment as well. We've talked about uh, release aids and how to operate the release aid before today. Um, as uh, Jimmy's hat states, um, he is a bit of a puncher. So um, in some cases, uh, people punch their release aids and uh, it, it doesn't go that well. Uh, what Jimmy does is referred to as shooting on command or it's, it's like deliberate punching. Uh, so he just puts his side on the middle, tries to uh, make it as stable as possible and then just uh, punch his release um, so that he knows that the arrow is going to go off in the middle. Whereas if you wait for your release to go off, sometimes you'll dip um, when the release goes off and then you'll not have the sight in the middle at the point of release. So, a bit of a different approach than uh, what is a uh, textbook. Ten, ten, ten. But, um, if you're mentally strong enough to do that, then uh, it, it's a viable technique. Yeah, and again, a perfect start to the matchup here for James Lutz, you, shooting on target you, number two, ten, ten, ten. It sounds like a drum roll for the current rank. It is an interesting one. Perhaps it's called the, 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 the purest, but ha perhaps the classical style of uh, this subconscious squeeze. It's, when you see a puncher, it makes you feel uneasy. It, yeah, it's almost um, as if they found a cheat, cheat code to this whole uh, game. So I bet there's many people that uh, do operate their release in a normal manner. Um, and, and they're jealous of the way that uh, Jimmy is operating his release because um, in windy situations, for instance, you can just wait for a calm moment and then punch your release rather than waiting for your release to go off and then having it go off in a gust of wind. Yeah, but we've talked about this before. The, the, the purists, as I call them now, uh, have say that it, when it goes wrong, it can go really badly wrong. It, it can go badly wrong. as 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 soon as you have some sort of target panic playing up, uh, it's going to be difficult. Nine, Ruby. So into the second, and another nine to start from Catters. 
So Jimmy obviously um, winning here last year, uh, 2019 world champion in uh, Sertog and Bos in the Netherlands. Um, he knows his way around the finals venue. He uh, he knows how to win matches. He knows how to shoot yeah. high scores. Um, on the other hand, uh, Nick Capers has uh, showed his worth at the Pan American Championships, and he uh, showed that he knows how to win a tournament. Yeah. Yeah. In this particular match, he is now trading with two points. Um, uh, if Jimmy can put this last arrow in the tin ring. Ten, 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 and that is a perfect um, score. And Jimmy yes, is still up yes, for a perfect yes, score, so that, uh, it's a good dynamic going on here. Uh, in the pretty match. much a copy and paste situation there from end number one. Nick Capper shooting nine, I mean, we ten, talked ten. about. Uh, it was ten, ten, ten. We Doubling talked about the fact that the points, uh, to 58 plus two Abhishek Verma put in such a, a tremendous performance, dropping just two points in the first half. It's gone on better already because uh, Verma dropped two points in that second half. So, these two are teeing up, and it continues the way it is. These two are teeing up, so they give us a very special gold medal match. But I'm sure Nick Kappers has a bit to say about that. He's not just going to let uh, Jimmy Lutz walk away with this one. Uh, interesting as we get some shots uh, of uh, the highlights of that second end. The, the, the box is empty for the USA. It's not always the case that when there are two teammates up against each other, the boxes are empty. No, definitely not. There's always, uh, or always, uh, there is very often uh, just two different coaches in two different coaches' boxes. But uh, we've seen it before. I think it was Berlin 2018, uh, where Steve Anderson shot against Braden Gallantine. I don't know if that's the right year, but it was at least Berlin. Um, and they also yeah. didn't have coaches in the box. So maybe it's a USA thing. Um, it might be that they both have the same preference for coach, and they decided to not have one person have that preference. So. Yeah, it might be um, that they just decided, like, okay, we're not going to have any coaches in the boxes. Um, in any case, it's not the first time I've seen it. Surely there's case there that um, it could benefit one or other athlete. It might be that one athlete sort of really relishes the, um, working with a coach and then suffers when they're not there. Yeah, it, it might be. And it's also when you get off the line, you're not going to or typically you won't have a conversation with your opponent. Um, so in this case, they'll just walk off the line and they'll be left to their own yeah. devices. So yeah. Interesting, and, and this is a situation, Nick is a bit disappointed now. Normally you would have a little talk with your coach, a bit of distraction ten, maybe, ten, ten, and, um, that is and you could get back into the game, but now he's just left yes, with yes, his yes, own thoughts for yes, what is it, 40 yes, seconds perfecto, or so that uh, uh, the whole procedure takes to get uh, the arrows up. So, uh, what do you think it is that Captain is, is getting wound up about? He looks, he looks very frustrated there. Yeah, I, I actually don't know what, what's going on here. And I don't know if he's annoyed with Jimmy or if he's annoyed with something else and just wanted to vent to Jimmy, but something is definitely up. Yeah, 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 it's hard to know. They're both looking across the range to the left. Yeah, that's where the uh, screen is. So they're looking at the screen for the results of the arrows. Um, so because they don't have a coach telling them um, where the arrows hit. Well, there is also a no. No. frame. And look, he's looking up again. He's not happy about something. Dead center. And now, Jimmy Lutz is looking across with a little bit of a smile, a little bit of gamesmanship going on here. No rules broken, of course, are there, Chef, who, you know, can have a bit of sledging, as they call it in cricket, can't they? Yeah, yeah you could. Um, it's not very typical to happen, but it, it can happen.
Yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what Nick is so frustrated with, but I'm not sure if we will be able to figure it out in this match. I'm not sure we'll ever find out, but certainly Jimmy Lutz. Well, he, look, he's doing his talking on the range. He, sh he hasn't missed a, 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 a team yet. Uh, the record is probably out of reach. Yeah, I think uh, from memory it's uh, Real Wealth with 150-12x, so it's it's probably not going to be uh, Jimmy breaking in here. I think he shot more tens already than what is necessary to break the world record. What, cold handshake, perhaps? Is the captain being distracted by something else? It's really difficult to tell. So no points dropped by Jimmy Lutz. World record's gone, but three more tens and a perfect semi final score for Jimmy Lutz is up for grabs. Step up to the line. Captain's training. Yeah, and that's, that's a steep uh, deficit to climb. Yeah. It's only, I mean, he has missed four arrows, and uh, missed as in not shot tens, uh, but they are not far ten. out of the ten, so, so far, you'd have to say this match has a bit of a higher level than the previous match. Um, Ten, 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 nice way for Capus to finish yes, there with yes, his first yes, perfect. Yes, yeah, and uh, well, I don't think Jimmy's going to put this in the six, but. Oh, uh, finishes with a brilliant uh, grouping and there. Again, for a perfect score. score of 150 out of 150. There was something going on. Uh, on the range, difficult uh, to tell, Extra but uh, at least there's a, a warm embrace from Lutz uh, for Kappas, the but uh, it's, uh, the uh, there's definitely a little bit of needle James going on between the two of them. And something going on there that perhaps we will never know about. Wow. Very, very strange indeed, but there's nothing you can say other than the 150. No, it, it cannot be beaten unless uh, you also shoot a 150 and then win the shootout, obviously. But, um, it's a very good way to get into the final.